Haas F1 were not the team expected to be competing for the top five finishes or even podiums this season. But in the first two races, Haas F1 have, to say the least, surprised the entire F1 grid. Haas 2022 rejuvenation started with the announcement of Kevin Magnussen coming back into the team to replace Nikita Mazepin. This left a partnership of experience and second-year rookie in the Haas team, with Magnussen partnering Mick Schumacher, son of F1 legend Michael. With Magnussen, Schumacher definitely has his work cut out trying to outperform the Dane. Before we get into the details, please don't forget to like the video and consider subscribing, especially if you love F1 as much as we do. In his first two Formula 1 seasons, Schumacher has faced two very different challenges in his quest to establish himself as the top Haas driver. Despite being a more talented potential than Nikita Mazepin, based on their Formula 2 accomplishments, the German was aware that his teammate had enormous sway due to his father Dimitri's role as the team's principal sponsor. With that pairing no longer in the mix, another test has surfaced in the form of Mazepin's replacement, Kevin Magnussen, who has extensive Formula 1 experience, including four seasons with Haas from 2017 to 2020. With Magnussen hitting the round running, scoring two points finishes in as many races so far this year, and with Schumacher yet to get off the mark, one could not help but think this leaves Schumacher under a little more pressure. Schumacher, 23, admits that he made a small mistake, causing him to crash that cost him his spot on the Jeddah grid. Barely a week after finishing 11th and losing to Magnussen in the 2022 season opening in Bahrain. Colin Coles, the former managing director of Force India, believes Schumacher needs to work extremely hard to get to the level of Magnussen. Coles, who was also team principal at Hispania and spent five years with the Silverstone-based team under the names Jordan, Midland, Spiker, and Force India, says Schumacher, is beginning to feel the pressure. He has to work very hard to get to the level of Kevin Magnussen, said the 54-year-old, speaking as a pundit on German TV channel Sport 1. He came back in without testing and after a year without driving in Formula 1 and was immediately better. Magnussen won't get worse either, but rather better. With Haas deciding Schumacher could not race on the Sunday even in the spare car, with the reason thought to be budget costs, it is thought the bill could be over $1 million to repair Schumacher's car. Despite the fact that the chassis and engine were unharmed, Team Chief Gunther Steiner informed reporters that the cost is still pretty high because all the suspension is gone except the front left. I think there's still something on there, the rest is just like powder, carbon powder. I don't know money-wise as yet, but these cars, between gearbox, the whole bodywork's gone, radiator, between half a million to a million dollars I would say, Steiner added. Former driver Christian Danner agrees, admitting he thinks Schumacher's crash was a result of the pressure that was building up. He said, in Kevin Magnussen, he now has a teammate who really shows him how high the bar is. The great thing is that he accepts the challenge, he said. A big shunt resulting in hospitalization, on the other hand, is a extremely large setback for a young driver, according to Dana. The issue is that by missing Sunday's race, Schumacher is now a full Grand Prix distance behind Magnussen and the rest of the F1 field. But Schumacher can put his pride aside and learn from his new teammate. When asked about Magnussen at the start of the season, Schumacher said he would be a good benchmark and added, it's definitely beneficial for me and the team. He's been part of the team for four years, then obviously had a one-year break now. But everybody likes him in the team. The emotion and the feeling in the team is really good, and he is a good reference. So it's only positive for now. He added, I can benefit from his experience. He's a good benchmark, so now I have the opportunity to measure myself and have the pressure and try to deliver under pressure too. With two races in the new season now behind him, maybe Schumacher is starting to wonder if Magnussen has set the bar too high for him to match. The next few races are crucial for Mick Schumacher. He does not need to consistently beat Magnussen, he just needs to finish near or close in qualifying and in the race. No one will be expecting him to beat a driver with as much experience as Magnussen, 
But if he can give him a run for his money on an occasion, I'm sure he will bring his ranking points up a notch. So, do you think Schumacher will outperform his teammate in the long run or will Magnussen keep performing to his high level? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.